All right, guys, what's going on? It's Mike from Skill of Strength. I'm here with my buddy, Steve Shepard. Hey, guys. Uh, Steve's our head strength, uh, strength and conditioning coach for all of our performance uh, programs here at SOS, so you're gonna be seeing uh, a lot of him soon. So today we're gonna go over the basics of diaphragmatic breathing. So we're gonna go over uh, some reasons as to why you should be diaphragmatic breathing and some quick techniques on how to screen diaphragmatic breathing, but also just a, a few pointers on how to help people with, with diaphragmatic breathing. So um, this is a biggie, guys. Most people know that you should be eating your vegetables and most people know that they should be making healthy decisions when it comes to eating. But what they don't understand that a big way that you can impact your health is actually by breathing correctly. And for people that have had low back pain, for people that have had you know upper neck pain, shoulder pain, um, you name it, diaphragmatic breathing could be an absolute game changer, okay? So um, it's very important to understand one thing though, guys, this is from a, a personal training standpoint. We're not here to diagnose, we're not here to treat. All we're trying to do is help people, um, help people breathe a little bit better and at least get on the right track when it comes to breathing. Um, the diaphragm has a few different attachments. It starts at the xiphoid process. We've got attachments on the ribs and on the, the lumbar spine vertebrae. So guys, it's a biggie. It can directly affect um, what's going on specifically in the low back because it actually does have attachments there. Um, that's a biggie. So it's not just a bubble down here, guys, okay? We've got kind of a left side and a right side and it's important that when we start to do some diaphragmatic breathing, that we look at all the different components of diaphragmatic breathing. And think about it being sort of this 360 degree um, bubble that expands and contracts, okay? And that's what we're looking for when we're starting to introduce diaphragmatic breathing, okay? So we're gonna start with some biggies, okay? So right away, what we're trying to do is we're trying to be relaxed, that's the first thing. The second thing we're trying to do is we're trying to get to the inhalation through the nose and then the exhalation through the mouth. That's the simplest way to start. There are some other ways that you can go about it, but for today, that's what we're gonna start with. And guys, breathing is a skill. We're gonna give you some very simple drills to start off with, and then as you get comfortable with those drills, you can start to make it a little bit more complex. Um, you know, I read a lot about this stuff, and everyone wants to do these super complex breathing things. Guys, we need to start simple. If you're learning how to squat, you're not throwing 225 on your back and just going, hey, let's see how it goes. You're gonna start with the basics and we're gonna go from there. So, we're gonna start with two different positions, okay? We're gonna start with the 90-90 position, which is on your back, and we're gonna start, uh, after that, we're gonna go to the prone position, which is also called crocodile breathing. Um, so, right away, we're gonna start by getting Steve on his back at the 90-90 position. So, we're gonna go this way, and you'll, your feet there. So, <clears throat> couple things, guys. Sorry, I'm gonna get in the screen here. Um, this needs to be comfortable. Ideally, we want to be at a 90 degree angle. And once we're here, guys, we want to just be relaxed. Now, the musculature in your lower body should not be on. We should actually hopefully allow the bench to do the work for us. Now, as far as what we're trying to accomplish here, again, we want to look at that 360 degree expansion of the diaphragm, okay? So, in the supine position, we can see basically sort of, I guess, three out of those four things, right? I know we're talking 360, but we can sort of see what's going on from an anterior component, from a lateral component on either side, but we really can't see what's going on on the back side, so that's why we're gonna do two different things. So, um, we're gonna do a quick breathing screen, okay? And now, guys, listen up. Um, this is a biggie. Uh, if you're not comfortable touching your clients, uh, or your clients aren't comfortable with it, don't do it, okay? Just stay away from it. So Steve's my buddy. Um, you know, he's not too uncomfortable, except that one time. <laughs> we won't talk about that. But anyway, so, so I'm gonna have Steve put his hands by his side and I'm just gonna place the hand on the belly, okay? And I'm just gonna ask him to breathe in through his nose and exhale through his mouth. You good doing that, Steve? Mm -hmm. And I'll see what you got. So he's just gonna do a couple breaths, okay? I'm just trying to see what's going on. Now, good, we're trying to see that sort of rise and fall of the belly, okay? That's the first one. We wanna see if we've got that sort of anterior component of the diaphragm. Secondly, we're gonna go lateral side. So again, we can kind of just basically cup the hand and again, always ask for permission and see if we're getting in that lateral expansion of the diaphragm, okay? Awesome and good, I'm feeling that. And then we would obviously do the same thing on the opposite side. Now, right now, it's really tough to see what's going on on the back side. We're actually gonna hit that in a little bit <coughs> when we get Steve in the, uh, in the crocodile breath position. So another way we can give them some feedback 
for that 360 degree sort of expansion is to use a, a little bit of a band. So give me two seconds, I'll grab that. All right, so Steve, I'm gonna have you kind of sit up. So guys, what we're trying to do is we're gonna try to put this right around the belly, okay? It's not gonna be down by the hips and it's not gonna be on the ribs. So what we'll do is I'll show you standing up is we're gonna go around, okay? And once, it's, once this is around the belly, we can just kind of loop it and give a little bit of feedback. That's one way. The other way we can do it is, and this is how we're gonna do it when you're doing it by yourself, is to loop it and put it through and then kind of cinch it. That's probably gonna be the best way now that I think about it. So I'm gonna have Steve just kind of loop this around. And again, we're going over that, that middle part. Now, <coughs> we're gonna go back to the 90-90 position. And guys, the goal of this is to let him feel it. It should not be cutting off circulation, but it's to let him feel it. And Steve, do you feel that? Yep. Awesome. So again, you, you should be able to feel that 360 degree um, tension around. And all we're trying to do is, as we breathe in, we're trying to exhale, and we're trying to you know, fill the air up so we get that nice expansion from a 360 degree standpoint, and then exhale, rinse and repeat. So pretty simple, pretty simple cueing for you guys. So Steve, you can take that off. Now, there are gonna be some times where maybe we're not getting the expansion that we need on one side, or we're maybe not getting it on the other side, or maybe we're not feeling it on the front side. One way to do that is have the client on the front side Put the hands on the belly. And we're looking for the rise and fall. So Steve, do a couple breaths. And I'll have him exaggerate it a little bit so he sees what's going on. So that's the first thing you can do. Another thing you can do, guys, is a little ankle weight, okay? And again, we're not looking for like 100 pounds here. This is three pounds. All we're trying to do is place it on his belly to give him a little bit of feedback as to where he should be moving, okay? So that's the first one we can do. <coughs> The next one, guys, that we're going to do is with a cook band, okay? So let's say someone's having a little bit of a tough time getting expansion on one side. We can give them feedback. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop the band around Steve. And now it's very important that when we do this, that the stretch band, the thin part of the band is underneath him, and just a small piece of the band is on that lateral part of his ribs, okay? I'm not his ribs, sorry. That lateral part of his belly, so it's below the ribs above the pelvis. So he can feel this. We want to make sure that that's set up. But again, look, the stretchy part of the, uh, the rubber band is, uh, is behind him. We don't want the big foam part uh, underneath him, okay? So go ahead and lay back, Steve, and we'll get him in the 90-90 position. Now, the goal here, guys, is to see if we can get Steve to feel that side. Okay, and you feel like you're getting some feedback there? Yeah. And again, all I'm going to ask him to do is to breathe and I want you to feel that band and I just want you to kind of push into the band as you're doing some basic breathing techniques. So guys, this is say, this is, you know, we're trying to attack one side, cool. If you want to attack the other side, cool as well. So it's a very, very simple way to just get feedback. Um, I found that this actually works pretty well when we're trying to get things to kind of wake up on one side or the other. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna loop this out. And guys, when we start off breathing, just make it comfortable, you know. In through the nose, out through the mouth, it needs to be relaxing. As you get a little bit deeper, you can start to talk about the length of inhalation versus the length of uh, exhalation. You can talk about making sure there's an autonomic pause, all that other stuff that goes into breathing. But when we start, it needs to be simple. Okay, simple, simple, simple. Now, next thing we're going to do is uh, <coughs> crocodile breath on the belly or in the prone position. Now, I'll tell you this right now, guys, if you are working with someone that has maybe an old uh, lower back injury and they do not tolerate lumbar extension well, this is probably not gonna be the best position, okay? So it does put them in a little bit more of an extended position, so I'd actually probably put them in the 90-90 position. So now, here's the difference, guys. We can look at what's going on in the backside, okay? All of those things apply. We're gonna in inhale through the nose, Exhale through the, through the mouth and just stay relaxed, okay? And again, if we need to see that feedback or we want to do that little bit of a breathing screen, we can place the hand on the low back, see what's going on, and then go from there. And same thing, we can do the same thing on either side. We can also use this guy here, just an ankle weight, <coughs> and go from there. Very, very simple. But guys, what this boils down to is these are probably the two simplest ways to learn breathing, okay? Now, 
as you get into more of the various postures that we can be in, whether it's uh, either quadruped, half kneel, tall kneel, you name it, unless we're exerting ourselves at a very, very high level, we should be able to have a, a decent diaphragmatic breath. Once we start to exercise, obviously it's going to be different. We have to start talking about uh, intra-abdominal pressure and breathing behind the shield, etc. But guys, at rest, breathing should happen pretty normally, okay? So this is a biggie. So start with these positions and then go from there. Um, times to use this. Before bed is a fantastic time, okay? Um, you know, a quick couple minutes of breathing before your workout, awesome. Um, a, a quick couple minutes of breathing at the end of your workout, awesome. Um, and I said this uh, yesterday in a Facebook post, if you're working with a coach and they spend the first 20 minutes of your paid session just doing breathing exercises, it's a waste of time. They're ripping you off, okay? So it's not appropriate. Now, at the beginning, if you need to learn these techniques and you need to spend a little bit more time on understanding this, awesome. But it should be an educational process, okay guys? So listen, try these exercises. Hopefully we'll give you an idea of how to utilize it and uh, pay attention to your breathing because it's very, very important. Um, as usual guys, we appreciate the shares and uh, we'll talk to you soon.